Welcome to State Scoop TV. I'm Jake Williams. We're here with Stu Davis. He's the Chief Information Officer for the state of Ohio. How are you doing, Stu? I'm doing well. Happy to have you. Pleased and, to be here. Uh, and so, Stu, what you know? What are your top priorities for the year ahead, and, and what challenges are you facing with them? That's not probably the number one priority is to really finish up the uh, IT optimization effort, the consolidation piece. We've got four agencies to go, and uh, and that's I'd like to get that behind me, you know, and start to look at the really cool things that the state can do from with, once that foundation's in place. Um, so another big priority is security. We're looking at security as a service right now. We have uh, proposals in and I'm very anxious to see what those look like. We have an identity access management uh, effort going on that um, will really change the way the user experience is for citizens and businesses coming into the state, which is really a, a, an important part of where we're headed from a state perspective. And data analytics is out there. You know, it's trying to figure out the, the most innovative way and to get that through procurement and get that set up is pretty high on my priority list. I think that data analytics itself can really bring a whole lot um, to streamlining the efficiencies and or streamlining government and getting efficiencies out of the government space. That's great. And so, you know, I, I think it's no, uh, no secret to the people in the NACIO community that you are uh, a longtime public servant. You know, last night you were honored with the Meritorious Service Award, so congratulations Thank for that. Thank you. Really I appreciate exciting. that. Um, but what aspect of your job, what aspect of state IT are you most passionate about? What really keeps you coming back to work every day? Well, I, I think, first of all, I, I work with some really, really great people. I've got really good IT professionals in the state of Ohio. So working with those guys gets me out of bed. I'm doing the right thing for the, <clears throat> for the citizen, <clears throat> excuse me, and, and, and really paying for stuff once instead of 26 different times in the different agencies. Um, but I, I would say that there, there are two parts. I think that there are things that need to be sort of shared services and there are things that don't need to be shared services. And I think finding those and that right mix is a pretty important piece. And doing good for the public. I, I, I know it sounds crazy, but you know we have such an enormous impact on a broad range of issues to the, our citizens and our constituents that it's, it's, uh, it's very rewarding in that regard. It, <clears throat> a lot of work and a lot of challenges to get there, but when you see things come together like Ohio Benefits and what we're doing with the Ohio Business Gateway and you know what we're doing with Identity Access to make it easier for a citizen to navigate the complexity of state government and get to the programs that are beneficial to them, uh, I mean, that's a, that's a pretty cool place to be, to be quite honest with you. And of course, the ana analysis side of that equation, I'll throw a shout out to my spatial boys and you know the spatial analysis component, I think, is something that needs to be elevated into the strategic layer and embedded in all the things that we do and, and I'm, I'm pretty focused on trying to get that done in the next two years. That's awesome. Uh, so I, I think that there, are, um, you know, from the talks that we've had over the past couple of years, I think there is a lot of evidence of, of things that Ohio has led on, but, but how would you say your state has really been at the forefront of some technology innovation? Uh, I think, you know, more than anything else, technology is technology and it takes people to do those things. And, and I don't really know what the secret sauce is, but somehow we pulled together a vision of an enterprise approach to things and an understanding of that enterprise approach, where it makes sense. And, and it's really been embraced by you know, the agencies and their, their leadership and the things that we're trying to do. I, I think that is, uh, that is a pretty cool thing as well. I mean, I, and it's really made a big difference. The conversations that we've ha we're having now on the technology board are significantly different than two years ago. And, and it's great to see those guys understand the enterprise vision, why we're doing this, and the purpose of what we're doing, you know, for the benefits of the citizens of Ohio and the businesses of Ohio, and really latch on to that concept and just move the ball forward. I mean, just moving it and keep moving it. That's awesome. And, and you know, I mean, uh, again, being around this space for so long, I mean, you know how often we talk about innovation, um, but you know, we don't often define it. And so you know, what does innovation really mean to you in Ohio, and, and really how are you using innovation as a concept to change the game? So, so it's interesting because um, innovation comes in all different sizes and shapes, and it can be really small. And, and just to get the seed going on some of those things, we've been initi initiating discussions with um, some of the directors on the use of digital assistance to support autistic children and some of those kind of things 
where there's a schedule and it's timed and you have some interaction with uh, the digital assistant that's reminding you, you know, it's, it's time for your shower, you know, those kind of things. And, and to see the passion that's coming out of the directors that deal with that issue on a regular basis and this whole discussion is just, it's great. And it, the, the beauty of my job is I don't really have anything to do with it. I just can connect those two guys to get the, the formation of what we're going to do in that space if it makes sense legally and all of the other ramifications that we have to address through that process. But just to see the passionate guys get in a room and there's a solution and it could be, it could be very impressive and supportive of uh, autistic kids in the state of Ohio. I think that's a pretty cool thing too. That's awesome. Uh, last question, you know, not necessarily as, as optimistic <coughs> as the last one, but you know, I mean, what, what's keeping you up at night? What are some of those giant challenges that you really have to address? Well, security is, is always one of those things that kind of make you sit up at night. I, you know, identity access management, there's, uh, there are a lot of uh, failed projects across the country. So that one making me a little nervous. And, um, but for the most part, you know, the, the operations team that we have and, and the things that go on, you know, it's operations, it's IT, things always come up. There's always some kind of fire happening here or there, but these guys are jumping on it. So for the most part on the operations side, I feel pretty good about it. It's some of these larger, more complex projects that we're just starting to initiate that, that make me a little nervous because we have like three or four of fairly sizable projects in that space and it, it keeps me awake at night. So. Well, Stu, thank you so much yeah. for joining us. Yeah, I no, no problem. Your questions. Very, very much appreciate being here. And I guess one final note that I would say is yeah. that, you know, there's a quote from Teddy Roosevelt that said, far and away, the best prize in life is doing work worth doing. And that is kind of what I see as public service, just to wrap it up yeah. in, the, in that earlier discussion. That's so. awesome. That's awesome. All right, well, thank you very much. So for more about what Stu Davis is doing in Ohio, check out statescoop.com and subscribe to the Daily Scoop newsletter. And again, I'm with Stu Davis. He's the CIO for the state of Ohio. I'm Jake Williams. Thanks for watching.